Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. Um, this is a part two of the John Wick uh, style mansion here we got. Um, in the previous video, I made the uh, exterior of this for a tutorial. And uh, it got a lot of support, so I go. I went ahead and made an interior for this place. And um, we're going to get into a tutorial for that right away, guys. And um, go ahead and tell me down in the comments what else you want me to do. And um, it's going to be great. It's going to be dandy. You're going to have a great time. Look at all that interior stuff. Uh, we're going to do all that in the video today. Look at the nice pool. Oh, it's beautiful. It's fantastic. And it's just, just incredible. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into the tutorial, guys. Alright guys, so we're going to get started in the front of the house here, at the front door. Um, now before you do anything else, what I did is I just filled in the ground with uh, some jungle uh, wood planks. Um, I thought jungle looked uh, looked pretty nice, along with, the, um, along with the snow block walls. So you guys can do whatever block you want for the floor, uh, but I just went with the jungle, because um, you know, that's my preference. But right over here, we're getting started with the bathroom. Um, so this house, uh, it looks big, but there's really not a lot of interior to work with. So, um, yeah, there's, uh, two bathrooms in this house and there's only one bedroom, which is a, a, an upstairs, an upstairs loft area. So it's not the biggest house. Um, but that's mainly because I went off the exact, more or less the exact design of the John Wick house. Um, but yeah, so... Um, I guess if I had to, um, if I was building my own house, um, for my own design, I would definitely give myself more room here, but just because of the, um, I guess the lack of space, um, on this interior area, um, we are going to work with it. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just making the little bathroom area in the back corner here and, um, got some nice shelves going there. And, um, like I said, not a lot of space to work with, but that's okay. We are working with it right now. Uh, right here, we're just going to do a little ceiling in with some quartz slabs. Nothing too special. And then, like I said, you can interchange the blocks however you want to do it. Um, right above the bathroom is a little storage area, or like a little empty room I left. Um, so it could be like a little storage room, um, or whatever you, whatever you guys want. Another little bedroom, maybe, even. Uh, it could be, so... Yeah, you guys can do kind of whatever you want with this. You don't have to follow the exact um, the exact instructions. Um, this is mainly just like a guideline for you guys. So, um, yeah, right now you're getting a little um, sink in with a mirror and then the two counters on the sides. And I gave it a little uh, trap door right there. It just kind of look like, uh, just to kind of give it a little shelf kind of feel. And then the, uh, the jungle button, I kind of like that. It kind of looks like a little bar of soap or something like that. Um, it looks cool, it looks cool. I never thought to use that before. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, so I might be the only one who uses bars of soap um, as buttons. But you know what, there you go. Uh, now we're going to get in a simple little toilet here in this corner. Um, <clears throat> nothing really special. And then we got the, um, the stone button. It's supposed to be a, uh, like a little toilet paper. A holder um, so yeah and then uh, we're just gonna get this little uh, pillar in the corner and then over here is gonna be a little shower uh, just a really small shower um, so yeah once again nothing too special and also guys um, for these um, for this house um, I kind of already went over this but you don't have to um, you don't have to go exactly as I'm doing it this is just my rendition this is just just to give you guys like an idea maybe uh, of what you could do inside this house or to give you guys some more furniture ideas um, for things I found that I'm um, using trapdoors uh, actually was really useful uh, for making like shelves and stuff and then we're just gonna by the way get that get that little window out of there and make, make it a door uh, but yeah make use trapdoors to like make some um, to make some shelves and things like that, I found that works uh, really well and uh, allows a lot more space and openness than if you just use like stairs or slabs. Um, so yeah, right here we're getting a little storage room. Um, we're just gonna we're gonna come back to that in a little bit, I think. I don't think I go right into there right away. And actually, right now where I'm standing um, is going to be the kitchen, and we're gonna get started on that right away uh, after we get this little, I guess, 
uh, bush area up there, up in the top. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then um, we're gonna get started on the kitchen here. Uh, first, we're gonna go a plant right there. Boom, looking cute, looking cute. Um, again, guys, that anvil, that like, that's that's that that that. What what am I saying? The anvil is supposed to be like a little pot. Um, so. Now we're getting the fridge in, along with the along with the um, along with the sink and the countertops, and then this window uh, that you're looking at is gonna be shrinked a little bit, shrunk, shrank. Yeah, there you go. It's getting shrink a little bit um, for some overhead cabinets. Um, and I think they look pretty cute. We're gonna use the same trapdoor thing that we use in the bathroom to um make them look like uh their little cabinet doors that can be opened and stuff like that and um this house is actually um i did the outside um pretty much exactly like the houses in john wick uh his house um but the interior that i'm building right here has nothing as far as i'm aware is not um uh it, it's not how it is in real life at all so yeah if you guys wanted um, an exact John Wick house. Unfortunately, uh, the interior is not the same as uh, in the movie. Um, I guess there probably weren't many really interior shots. Um, but yeah, I definitely used the interior for a little bit of inspiration. But uh, um, apart from like the living room area, uh, and how it has like a high ceiling, you guys will see that in a bit. Um, aside from that, uh, as far as I'm aware, there's no resemblance to the real house at all. Uh, but now we are just getting a cute little, uh, like a wall in here. And then right in the middle here, we're going to put some furnaces. It'd be like some stoves or ovens or something like that, I guess. Um, so... There you go, and then get some iron pressure plates on top there, and then we're gonna get some stone brick stairs. Um, a lot, of, a lot of different blocks being used in this build. It's got to be said, um, but I'm trying to keep it modern for the most part. Um, a lot of these designs are pretty modern. Uh, I don't really work with modern style builds, really. So this is an interesting build for me as well, um, and. I usually work in like medieval style um, or like fantasy style so this is a very interesting experience for me now we're just um, covering up the roof here I don't want that stone showing so we're giving a more white ceiling uh, just to blend in with the rest of the walls and all that stuff and that's pretty much the kitchen so we're gonna move on to the next little area in the house which is gonna be the living room area Hoorah! And now, um, there was not a lot of space to work with here, uh, vertical-wise, so I decided that I wanted to, um, bring the floor down a little bit, so the living room is kind of like in this little trough area, um, so, you can see me, I'm gonna be taking out, uh, a large chunk of this, uh, of this area to my left here, and that's gonna be brought down one block, so we can have this like a little little den area for the living room to be um and in the end it turns out pretty nice so i'm pretty happy with that
Alright, so now we got the little floor in. Uh, as you guys can see, it just goes down one block. Nothing too special, but I think it adds a lot to the house in the end. So now we're going to be going back to um, some furniture. And like I said earlier, I'm going to use some trap doors in a lot of these. So, first of all, I got this um, nice little trap door, like, bookshelf, I guess it could be. Um, and then the TV is going to sit right on top of it. So, we're going to use a mix of trap doors and stairs to make it kind of like a little cute TV stand. And then we're going to get this fat, juicy looking TV right on top. And it's going to look fantastic. Well, I already know it looks fantastic. I built it. But there you go. Now we're going to get this 2x4 TV, just giant, massive. I wish I could call it flat screen, but uh, it's one meter thick, so um, I don't think that's an option for me. And right down there, that button I used to, uh, it's kind of like, I guess, a, uh, an outlet that you could use, kind of like for a design, um, just for looks, obviously. But, <clears throat> but yeah, that looks nice. Just add a little bit of a detail in there. And then I believe what we're doing next here is we're going to make this cute little chandelier. It's like a modern style chandelier that I came up with. Well, I, I probably didn't come up with it. It's, it's probably been done before, but it uses the, um, the end rods since they give off light. So it uses those to, um, to, um, to light up the place. And then once again, we're just gonna take up this, um, the ceiling. Uh, replace it with um, a layer of quartz to give it that nice white happy feeling and then this final little area right down there and this is nice this is nice and I guess if you want to make a chandelier you kind of have to go to the end I'm pretty sure pretty sure it's the only way you can get this the end rods that kind of makes sense but uh, yeah you're gonna have to go to the end to do that but I think it's worth it. I think it's definitely worth it because it, in the end, this kind of turns out really nice. See, look at that. Ooh, really lighten up the area. Looking real snazzy. And then, um, there we go. There it is. Boom. Look at that. Uh, once again, you can use whatever kind of like fence you want. It doesn't have to be just a dark oak fence. You can do whatever you want. And now we're going to get some couches in with some wool and some snow. So it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm not actually sure if you can get these snow, um, like the individual snow in survival. You might be able, to maybe like silk touch or something. I don't know. Um, but if you can't do that, you can just use a quartz slab or something like that if you want. So yeah, there's that. And then this cute little carpet's gonna be going in here, just a mix of white and black, uh, just to give a little modern abstract feel to the house. There we go. Look at that. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's just fantastic, isn't it? Ooh, I love it. All right, so now I think we're going to be coming over um, to the left side of the living room, and we're going to be getting in a little nightstand, I guess, nightstand type of thing. And then we're going to be getting another couch um, right off to the left here, and it's going to look fantastic. You can have some great parties on this couch and have a, have a great time on here. It's gonna be just great good old family bonding experiences on this couch there it is and that's more or less the living room area um, there's still gonna be some stuff going in around it like a little bookshelf behind the couch and you guys will see that in a second and oh yeah the, 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 pit, the paintings I almost forgot about the paintings can't forget about the painting guys it's beautiful and um, I don't like the creeper painting um, it just reminds me that I'm in Minecraft and I don't think anybody in the right mind would have a painting of the creeper on the wall, so I just never use that one. That's the only one I'll never use. Um, so yeah, there's my rant. And then we're coming back to the storage room with some slabs here. Um, I guess you could use, um, what the, I guess you could use, what are, the, what are they called? Trap doors, just to give you a little more room to work with. Um, but I just went with the slabs there. Um, so yeah, you guys can do whatever you want, guys. This is your world. This is your world. Um, now we're coming over here. We're gonna get a little like glass table in, um, with a nice iron trap door top onto it. Um, it's like a kind of looking out into the garden area, um, which we will get to in a bit. But we're gonna start off with all the inside stuff and then move outside for that in the grand finale. Um, it's gonna be great, guys. It's gonna be great. And then I found this new little design 
for a chair or like a seat that really works well. Um, I'm not sure if uh, I'm the only one who has this design, but there we go. It, it looks nice. It looks nice. Well, not there we go. You guys will see in a minute uh, when it goes up. There we go. It's going up now, guys. It's beautiful, beautiful. Just take some uh, wood slabs, the same color sign, and then um, a trap door in the back. Or you could do like that. Um, just use a sign going all the way around. Um, or you can use a trap door like this. I prefer the trap door because it kind of looks more like a chair with the raised back into it. And you kind of get this cute little like mini chair effect or like a seat. Um, and it's real cute. So there's that. And um, now we're going to get some more bushes in here because you can't have a house without bushes. Or at least a good one. Um, so there's that. And then look how much that, that adds to the house. It's just beautiful. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. Now we are going to come back here and make another bookshelf, guys. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be fantastic. And um, it's just going to go in right next to this... Um, Right behind the couch and i can admit that i do a goof up here so uh this will be changing um there's a wall right next to me that is changed um in a few moments so if you guys just want to disregard what i'm doing right now and then um, when i fix the wall you guys can go ahead and uh, start building up again um yeah my bad on that And that's pretty much the final design for this little area. So, um, there's that. So we got this little raised up area. Um, going to that door, going to the outside porch out there. I thought that looked pretty nice. Um, and then we're just extending out this little, um, I guess, uh, dip down area just a little bit more. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then I'm just gonna um, let you guys watch the video and just go off of my beautiful building and uh, build it in your own little worlds. And I'll be back in a bit when something um, more notable happens and I have uh, knowledge to spew out for you guys. So go ahead and enjoy and build away.
Alright, that was the tutorial for the John Wick House interior. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, go ahead and tell me in the comments what else you want me to build. I'm probably going to do some more house tutorials here in the future. Um, so that's going to be real fun. Stay tuned for those coming real soon. And uh, this house turned out real nice, actually. I'm really happy with, um, with how this uh, whole thing turned out overall. Um, so yeah, guys, go ahead and tell me in the comments what you want me to do. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. Uh, stay tuned for another video coming out real soon and uh until then guys have a great day and uh goodbye oh uh oh goodbye